Hi everybody, this is Arielle from TechSoup. I'm here to share one of my very favorite and I think least used Excel features, filters. Let's say you have a list of donors and the amounts they donated. If you only want to see rows with certain values, for example, particular donor or donations over or under a certain dollar amount, you can use filters to do that. To use a filter, you just click the filter button on the data tab and you'll see these small arrows appear on the header rows. If a filter is being used, the little arrow at the top of the column changes to look like this. It looks like a little filter. You click on any arrow to filter that column and you can choose to see only certain values. So for example, in this case, I'm going to choose to only look at donations for programs in a certain region. Once I click that region, the list changes to only show rows that have that region listed. Now, depending on what data you have in a column, you'll have different filter options available. The region column in this spreadsheet is a text column, meaning it has words in it. So the filter options I have are text-based filters. In a number column, like this donation amount column, I'll have different options. For example, I can choose to see only donation amounts over $10,000. Quick pro tip, after filtering, you can see the number of rows you've selected in your filter at the bottom left of your screen. This is an easy way to get a quick count. So right now, what it's showing me is that there are this many donations under $10,000 on the entire spreadsheet. To get rid of the filters, you just click the filter button again to remove them. Quick note, I'm using Excel 2013, so if you're using a different version, you may have different options available. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out TechSoup's other videos for more quick tips.